Hey everybody, how you doing out there? It's yours truly, Dave. I just want to give a shout out to everybody who's listening. I mean, everybody around the world. This is not uh, locally, this is uh, this globally. Okay, we're just going with globally, okay folks? Anyway, this is globally, this is going nationwide, globally, wherever. Anyway, I'm going to give a shout out to everybody who's subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'm not going to tell you what my YouTube channel is. You guys will have to figure out that one. Until then, I'm going to do my podcast. Uh, I want to give a shout out to everybody who I know out there who subscribed to my YouTube channel. I appreciate it. Uh, you're long for the ride, I would say, uh, for all my videos that I put out there. I hope I put some great ones, too. And most importantly, that you guys subscribe to my channel and hit that like button, as YouTubers would say. Hit that like button. Share, <laughs> share the videos. Yes, most importantly, share the videos and hit that like button. And, uh, yeah, you, you'll see my videos. And if it goes viral, it goes viral. I would appreciate if it did. Um, and uh, what I'm going to say is yada yada yada, as they say in Seinfeld. Uh, but no, it's not like that. Uh, what I'm going to say is that you guys appreciate what I put out, the content I put out, amazing content I put out. I tried to put, I put all thought into this, folks. I put all thought into this. I try to hear both sides to the fence, you know, uh, all YouTubers out there, how they conduct themselves on YouTube videos, on their own platforms on YouTube videos. Uh, for, for the rest of my life, I think I think it's done pretty good. Now, everybody does differently on their YouTube channels. They do differently. They all do the same, just so you know. Uh, they all have production videos going out there. Uh, they have the intro and the outro, and... Uh, and I appreciate that. I really do appreciate it. Uh, it makes for an exciting video. Let's put it that way. It makes it for an exciting video so you know the person. And these are just ordinary daily vlogs. Da just daily vlogs, if you want to call them such. Uh, just daily vlogs. Uh, you can bring your parents into these videos. Uh, and just have a daily vlog. Just have a daily vlog of what you've been doing. Like, how about in day in the life of, I'll give you an example, like day in the life of maybe Justin Trudeau. I don't know. And his family. Uh, just something like that. Something like that. Just a daily vlog. And don't have it scheduled. Just have it like whenever you want to have a video up there. Um, and you can schedule whenever you want the video to be up there. And do whatever you need to do. And YouTubers are great at that. Um, I want to tell you uh, one quick thing that people don't realize here. Is um, a while back. I don't know if you guys know this already. I forgot about this totally. I just came to my head right now. Um... That story fire, as you guys well know, as I would say, well know, uh, uh, Jesse, uh, uh, what's his name, what's his name, uh, I'm trying to think his name at the moment here, uh, um, oh, what's his name again, Jesse, uh, what's his last name, um, somebody remind me, uh, but anyway, the, you know, the Juggernugger guy, anyway, he's a YouTuber out there, uh, he was going to lose his, uh, his story fire, his story fire. Website. He was gonna. Uh, he was gonna take it down. He was basically. Uh, it was a business adventure. Remember, this is a business venture side of things. He was gonna do the, a business side of things on this platform that he's gonna have. And uh, folks, he was gonna shut it all down. People are saying they're gonna. He's gonna shut it all down. If it were first, this was. This was dire straits. I kid you not. This was dire straits. He was gonna shut it all down due to funds. I'm not kidding. Due to funds. Um, one one other thing I got to point out to you guys, you, he's going to shut his operations, his uh, so-called operations down, his website, his app, all down, all completely down. Everybody would have been we really felt a uh, moment. It was really hard for well, for him. Uh, it was this uh, friendship with Brian. And so if you guys know already, if you see uh, Jenny Nugger's videos. Um, him and Brian uh, just designed a web page called Storyfire. Now, it was how you say the origin to that was all about storytelling. That was the origin to when they, you know, created this so-called Storyfire. His thought going into this, this is the origin of it, was to create a website that would tell like campfires to, you know, campfire stories. He was thinking that sort of way. Um, and have a website that people can tell stories about. Just like a, it's like a camp story. You go to camp, uh, when you go camping, you tell camp stories. It's sort of like that on the website, on the Storyfire website. 
And it didn't go that way for a while there. Uh, but uh, apparently he started around, I think, I forget what year he started around. I think it was around, what, uh, 2017, I think? I don't know. Anyway, sometime around there, uh, him and Brian, uh, it was a business venture on the side, as they say, business venture on the side. A website and an app, I kid you not. Um, a, de a developed app and a website. And you know what they say to do a website and an app? You need money, you need funds. You need funds to keep the, you know, the app and the website going. Uh, this is not for free. People say it's, it should be for free. Well, it's not. It's not, folks. It's not. Unless, unless they're willing to do that for free. You know, not websites that are out there are created for free. I hope you guys realize this. That, that means, uh, that means, I'll give you this, folks. You need donations. You need donations to keep the website going. Uh, these are money, uh, this is what you call donations, as people would say. Uh, donations for the websites to keep it running, to keep the website running. They need donation. I, I give a hint to uh, Juggernaut here. Get the donations going. So if you want funds, you got to get donations going. Uh, I give you some observations, I would say. Um, uh, go on Patreon. I've heard this so-called Patreon. Uh, go there and do donations there for the websites. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So, folks, um, like I said, this is a business venture. This was, uh, I didn't realize that he had to pay, he had to pay for, you know, his website and the app of Storyfire. This was his website and an app. And he was going to build a company up, ground up, as they would say. Uh, so start slow, start from the bottom, work your way up to the company. And beat out every social media site that's out there in the world. You know, like, <laughs> like blow it out of the water, as they would say. Uh, it was going to be the story fire of all story fires. It was going to be the, uh, instead of YouTube being the way it is now, it's going to be the next YouTube craze out there. So story fire is going to take over YouTube. It was a tug and pull uh, of the websites, of the social sites. Uh, it's like a tug and pull. It's like a tug and pull. You know, on a website. Um, you gotta come here, or we'll go there. Kind of thing. Websites. You can come here, this is a story fire, you go over YouTube, go over here. And, um, it's a tug and pull. So, you know how social media sites are like these days? Uh, it's like give and take, you know? Uh, so, yeah, as you heard with the Juggernaut in his two videos that he mentioned back, uh, back in February 1st, he was near gonna shut everything down. Everything down! Everything, uh, you, you didn't hear it from me, you heard it from Juggernaut when you said on that video. He was gonna shut the whole operations down. This was a business venture, folks. And how did it get to that point? I don't know, folks. You gotta ask him. Ask him. Human Brian made this website called Storyfire. And he was gonna pull the plug. This was no joke, folks. Pull the plug of this business venture. It would have been sad for everybody. You know, it was like that crying moment. You know? It's like another one bites to death. I hate to say it like a Queen song. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it was a bittersweet. But, uh, but yeah, as they say, his friend came, uh, as they say, Amir, as they would say, as Juggernaut would say in his previous video, he said, miracles do happen. Yes, and I said, yep, miracles do happen, my friend. Uh, Brian came, uh, as they say, he's not Superman, he's not, he's not like the, you know, the kids grew up with. No, he's not that. Uh, but he just came along, helped him out a little bit, a little bit there. He said, we're gonna, for another year, another year, and <laughs> everybody was like music to his ears. Yep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he rushed to do another video. Uh, yeah, this was a close call. This was a close call. I kid you not, folks. He was almost going to shut down the operations. Oh, sorry, for it. This was. It came this close of shutting down the operations. Not my operations. Juggernaut's operations. It was almost a sad moment. Uh, it was a, so close to shutting it all down. 
So, so folks, this came in a scorching halt, as they would say. Uh, we're sorry for it. It was uh, dead on arrival, if you could say that. Um, but yes, his best friend came along and said, Hey, I'll help you out. My big brother or big sister, I'll give you some cash, kind of thing. Uh, let's say we say, I'll give you some cash on this website for a year. Let's do it. And, and then uh, ears perked up said, Wow, okay, a year. But now, this is where I got to tell you people out there. Now you have to pick up the slack. You have to pick up what you need to do and think of things in, uh, for a year. Now you got some room to uh, to think of what you need to do for the next year or so. Uh, this gives you, uh, as I say, t uh, time to work on uh, what you need to do. You need to get donations on your websites. Uh, if you could uh, get on your Storyfire website, say, if people could donate to your you know, your website, that would be appreciated to get uh, operations up and running for a long time. He was dire straits. He, <laughs> if you saw a drug and argue, he was really in dire straits. I'm not kidding. Uh, if you saw his face, it was... <laughs> it, I almost cried for him. I was almost dead. But, yeah, uh, his best friend, and I'm not kidding, he's not Superman, he's not like uh, his kids grow up to see in the TV shows. Uh, he's not like that. He just came along and said, hey, I'll help you out, my best friend, my best brother, or best friend. Yep, I'll give you some cash. Uh, let's get this for another year, shall we? <laughs> yeah, and everybody perked up there, you know, said, hey. So we're going to have to work hard on this, as they would say. Junk and got to work hard, right? <laughs> the girl this company, you know, to what it needs to be. You know, everybody's going to pitch it. Everybody's going to pitch it. Right? Let's go pitch it. You know, he can't do it alone. Brian can't do it alone. They need partnership. They call it partnership. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, and funds too. So there you go, folks. Yeah, I just thought about this now. So that was Dire Straits there back in February, uh, February 1st. Oh, I mean, I felt bad for the guy. <laughs> He was in a tight squeeze about his uh, story for our website. He was going to shut the whole operations down. I mean, this was crazy. Uh, but yeah, it was a it was a crying shame. It was this crying shame? No longer story fire. It was like dead on arrival. You could say that. <laughs> no, but it, it lasts between I think 2017 to to now, and I think it was a good run. It was a good run. I think he did. A, I think. At that age, at his age that he is now, I think that's pretty good for any entrepreneur. They call it entrepreneur. Any entrepreneur out there getting a business out there, you got to start small, work your way up. And he did that. He did that. He did it through uh, means necessary, as they say. They grow the uh, company. They grow the uh, story for our company. And he, uh, he's only, uh, what, what, 28 years old? Maybe 28 years old? So there you go, folks. You can you can do it. You can do it if you dream it. As my friend once said, if you can dream it, you can do it. You can do this. These are entrepreneurs. These, I think, I think what Jesse and uh, Brian were just entrepreneurs. They were like entrepreneurs. I guess you could say that. Uh, they were like entrepreneurs starting a, a social media site, small, and then work gradually a big company. And beat out Googles of the world to the, you know, Facebooks to the Amazons to you name it. You never know where it's going to lead. But there you go, folks. I applaud him. I really do applaud him. I'm not making light of it. I applaud him for doing that. Because it's, it's a big it's a big gamble. It's a big gamble. Because uh, uh, you're almost been on the whole shebang. Uh, and it's a big gamble. And, it's a, you know, it's a venture. It's a business venture. And, uh, do we want to do this kind of thing? And, yeah, uh, say, hey, you know, <clears throat> they may have made mistakes along the, lo along the way, and uh, they can improve, yes. But like I said, this gives them breathing room, as they always say it sometimes in wrestling, breathing room, right? <laughs> so, they just got to work harder. They got to work harder than, the, than they did before. So there you go, folks. There you go. This is my story. There's my rant. I always felt bad for Jesse. Uh, he, he accomplished a lot. I got to hand it to the guy. He really accomplished a lot. Of, uh, like I said, I'm just proud about the guy. I'm not teasing him or anything. I'm proud of the guy. He's 28 years old, for God's sakes. 
and he's learning the ropes of the business side of things in the world. And that takes a lot. That takes a lot for an entrepreneur out there. A first year, first entrepreneur. You know, dipping your toes in the business world. And going full tilt, you know, going full tilt with this. Uh, it takes it takes a lot. It takes a lot. Uh, so I, I applaud him. I really do it in a, in a big, in a nice way. You know, he just took this on. Him and Brian took this on. I mean, he couldn't do it by himself. You had to have Brian to help him out. But I'm not trying to laugh at both of you guys. They really took this on. I mean, a business venture virtually happens that way. And uh, Rishi, in a business venture, I think you got to sign a lot of contracts. I think uh, uh, Rishi with the contracts, you it's like it's like in wrestling. You sign a contract, how long you're in wrestling, for how many years, to you name it. Um, and you can always opt out. They always say you can always opt out, right? Yeah, you can always opt out, and that's no problem there. Uh, and so there you go, folks. Um, so I want to give you a heads up on that. And I was, I was feel bad for him. I wasn't kidding. Uh, it was almost dire straits for that. I don't know how it got that way. You're going to have to ask Jesse about this, uh, drug and other guy, about that. But it, it just him and Brian created this website called Storyfire. And nearly, he nearly had an office building, too, if you can believe that. He nearly had an office building. He, he was going, he was going to take over the industry, like, really over the industry. I mean, just coming from him being 28 years old, really young. That's really young, folks. So, so folks, anybody could do it. Like I said, anybody could be an entrepreneur, dream big, dream often. You could do it. You could do it. Hey, Junk and I are going to do it. I can't. I sure can. Right? So, anybody who's out there, dream big. Uh, be an entrepreneur, just like my, just like Jay. I followed his career very closely. To all his, to all his girlfriends that really cheered him on, to his parents that he had. His parents, his dad was a different story, but he grew out of it. He grew out of it. He was like this dad who uh, really, really, I thought he was just an ordinary dad that broke all his game consoles. He, he was pissed over it. I, I give you that. His, his, Dad really taught him tough love. I, mean, I don't want really to see dads out there doing that, but uh, he taught his son tough love, which is not so good on anybody. He taught, uh, you know, go out there, get a job, go do what you need to do. He was really tough it about. And uh, like for any son, you know, you can understand that, right? He was really uh, preparing him for the future. And, uh, like this dad, he broke his gaming console. Now, any kid like that, uh, he would, the kid would just cry, upset, mad, that the parents would have broke his gaming console. Uh, yeah, you can understand that, right, folks? That was like his pride and joy, is everything is in the game console. <laughs> I'm not joking, folks. So, he, he, it's not like laughing to the bank or anything. His gaming console is pride and joy, it's like kids would say. Uh, yeah, when, you, when your father breaks your gaming console, your son's going to cry about it or complain about it. You don't want to get him mad. <laughs> you know, he worked his hard enough to get this thing. And all of a sudden, his father started breaking the gaming console. I can understand if the, if the son or daughter does it with their own consoles. But, but like I said, I, I give a bit of a doubt. It t really toughen them out. But uh, for, you know, future himself, prepare for, you know, the business venture side of things in life. Uh, you know, with, uh, with trials and tribulations, as they would say, with uh, Klon out there in the world, he made it, he made it. I mean, look at him now, like, he, he did everything uh, he ever imagined. <laughs> He's always thinking about this big bag of money. That was, that was always funny to me. I gotta admit, that was quite funny to me. Uh, and then he always bought, he bought, uh, he bought a house, and then he got a, he had a bag of money, and told him directions to go to another place. He bought a cabin, a house cabin. Did I say house cabin? Yes, folks. <laughs> yes, if you, uh, did I hear what, did you hear what I said?
yeah, so this is a lot of money, folks. This was a lot of money. Uh, did he handle all that money? Uh, yes. He paid it in, uh, guess what? He paid it in, you know what? <laughs> and he had money left over. Can you believe this? A guy who is 28 years old, he bought himself, guess what? A cabin house. Looked pretty good inside out. Uh, he did the tour. I was surprised. I uh, got a bit for my surprise bit. Yeah, he all did himself there. But yeah, it was just, it was a beautiful place he picked out. Nice, 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 nice. I, I gotta, I gotta hand it to the guy. I'm not just uh, teasing the guy here. Well, here's what I'm saying to these people. Um, I'm not teasing him. He, he bought him, I said, are you kidding me? He didn't already have a house, I'm saying to him. But anyway, uh, he bought himself another one and his brother was stunned about that one, if you could believe that. Um, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I always, I always chuckle about this. I mean, I, I, I always say to these people, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> Time to because is he being real? Is, is he not joking, folks? <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, I'm not trying to tease the guy or anything. Like I said, I'm just wondering: is he doing the right thing? Is he doing the right, you know, <laughs> that everybody would do? You know, but anyway, and all, and all consider, as they, uh, Slash would say, the guitar Slash would say, uh, all consider, uh, things considered, yeah, yeah, I would say so, yeah. And uh, like I said, folks, uh, everything takes money. It takes money, takes willpower. He has a girlfriend, if you were asking me. Yep, he does have a girlfriend. Uh, I saw his girlfriend quite recently. Um, I'll, I'll give you this, folks. She, she looks like uh, one of my uh, mom's cousin uh, daughters. I don't know if there's similarities there. But, yeah, uh, she, she kind of reminds me of, uh, yeah, it's so funny to me. Uh, but, yeah, she comes off as that. Um, but, yeah, um, and not, to, not to be funny with these people, uh, you know, but just a similarity there. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, so the juggernaut, he had a few girlfriends along the way. Uh, I'm not going to tell you them all. You guys will have to figure that out watching his videos. Um, and, uh, yeah, just, uh, yeah, he had amazing girlfriends at, uh, all the way. Uh, this one lady, uh, young lady, she was, uh, a country singer. I think she sang, uh, she had an album. She was a very accomplished singer-songwriter. Uh, she moved to Nashville. She uh, sent one of her videos a long time ago. I think a year ago or so. She moved to Nashville. Uh, she uh, apparently she said to her uh, she said to her viewers out there about uh, old wounds, something about old wounds. And uh, yeah, um, I'm not gonna uh, mention about the story, but she said old wounds, and uh, she moved to Nashville. And uh, she was a copper singer. She was a copper singer, singer songwriter. And I think I don't know how that went in that relationship there. Um, I can tell you a bit of it because I've seen the whole his girlfriends along the way. And there were nice girlfriends. There were nice girlfriends along the way. This is the guy who I saw on YouTube videos. Um, and yeah, just uh. Um, the girl that he has now is called Ashley. I forget her last name, but uh, that's her YouTube name. Um, and she's pretty good. She's pretty good. <laughs> I got to admit, uh, I'm not trying to laugh at her uh, at her expense or anything, but she's quite nice. She's quite nice. Uh, she pre presents herself pretty nice, if you're wondering. Uh, and uh, yeah, just uh, she's all there. You know, some women are all there in their videos. Their faculties, as they would always say. And, uh, yeah, she's a great lady. She's a great lady. And I think uh, they became uh, friends to each other and then become lovers, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, try to grow the relationship, I guess, grow the relationship. <laughs> and uh, I gotta admit, I gotta admit a few of the videos along the way. Uh, she was really uh, adamant to... Uh, Jesse, there uh, a couple of times about his friends he had. And, uh, I, I kind of always agree with uh, young women sometimes. Uh, but yeah, um, 
but like I said, folks, um, it pays out in the long run. I think uh, the business venture that Jesse got in, I think, uh, is good now. I think he's in the right position right now uh, to uh, get story fired the way it should be. I, I kind of agree with that for him. Um, yeah, I concur with that. Um, he just needs to work on uh, getting the funds to get the uh, company up and running still, uh, continuing, as they saw, continuing. Yeah, he's got some leeway there, and uh, that's my observation to it. Uh, so he, so he might not get help next time, but this time he might. He's lucky for this time. But like I said, folks, in due time, right? Um, I'm sorry I'm wailing on about this, but yeah. But uh, yeah, he's trying to be an entrepreneur, like an entrepreneur out there, just uh, you know, learn the ropes, as they would say. It's tough to run a business, a company, uh, you know, of <laughs> a website in and out. I kid you not. So, yeah, you're going to have to ask him, guys. You're going to have to ask him on YouTube. So, yeah, folks, this is... Uh, it just... Uh, it, it just... I'm so fascinated with the guy. I really am. not just teasing him. Uh, his business ventures and stuff all along the way. Um, when he started all this, uh, I liked him to a point where he did the cycle series as you people would know uh he started that uh series called the cycle series <laughs> i don't know what got him to do that to be honest with you folks but he did it really good it was just uh I, he was trying to get himself to be a character and i appreciate that for him he was on him his real self he's trying to be the character of the other person and uh, sometimes it comes out with some <laughs> character you know he's trying to be that character right am i right And he did it very well. He did it very well. Get you, uh, give you a hand on it. There was a dude did it very well. He just didn't know who the real, as they say, the real Jesse of the whole thing. And it was too. It was like uh, you know, you put your character, you put your character face on, and you're trying to figure out if this is real Jesse or is this the character Jesse kind of thing. You know, you kind of, you kind of, it's kind of weighing your options and stuff like that. So. So, folks, you know, he's a, uh, I just, I just, I thought he was like any other kid out there, you know, his father broke his gaming console, and I thought, you know, he was kind of like this kid who got mad, his father did this, and, he, you know, his gaming console, like, tried and joy for him. I mean, you can understand this coming from a kid. <laughs> I mean, really, really upset for the whole situation. But, you know, you know with a lot of, he, I think his dad kind of showed his son a little toughness in, in this part. Um, you know, it's really, it's really that toughness, as I would say. You know, you know, not always a mother's, uh, best interest. So, there you go, folks. But, yeah, yeah, we learned along the way from it. We, he presented all the video. People liked him. They had a lot of YouTubers out there liking him. Um, people, uh, kind of comment on his videos. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge favorite, uh, huge YouTuber, like I, I kind of like his videos a lot, a bit here and there, and I appreciate it. Every time I see his videos, I kind of appreciate them. And uh, he's, sometimes he's on adventure with this uh, guy, Nick. He has a camera guy named Nick. I don't know if you, I told you this, folks. He has a camera guy named Nick. <laughs> he does good camera work. i got to admit, his camera work is pretty good. Uh, his uh, production camera, pretty good. I like how he holds the camera. Yeah, he, was, uh, he, had, he hired on a cameraman if you don't if you don't believe me. So yeah, he was a pretty good camera guy. Uh, I mean, uh, he asked for anything for more. I mean, <laughs> this guy Nick, I forget his name, but uh, yeah, he was filming all the way he goes, all the way he goes, and filming. Yeah, so it was just it was just like a day in the life of the juggernaut on camera. Sort of thing, and that's how they treat. Uh, that's how they did it and, uh, for their uh, their what kind of camera, the vlog cameras that people use nowadays. Um, so yeah, Nick filmed it, and uh, it was good. It was like the second person helping out filming this whole thing, a day in the life of him, essentially, and uh, his vis his venture in the world. And uh, it was good. It was very good, folks. You should learn about it, uh, learn how he did that. 
he hired on a camera person. Like I said, he had her hired on a camera person. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Just, uh, everywhere he went, he hired on a guy named Nick, and, uh, yeah. Well, as they say, the rest is history, as they would say. <laughs> so, there you go, folks. Anyway, anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, <laughs> anyway, if you want to... If you want to, I'll tell you this much, folks. If you want to learn more, go to his YouTube channel. It's called uh, Big Juggernauger. And go see his videos. They're quite good. They're quite good. You might you might learn something from them. Uh, they're educational. i got to admit, they're educational. You learn something from them every single day, his ventures that he does. <laughs> and his girlfriend, too. i got to admit, his girlfriend, too. Soon do, I would soon, I would soon in the just to probably get married, you never know. Uh, you never know. You never know, you know, as, as they say in life. Um, but yeah, Ashley is a good a young lady, good young lady. I gotta admit, uh, not always agree with, so I'm trying to, I gotta point that out. But, you know, they handle it pretty nice. They handle it pretty nice, folks. That's what I'm going to say. They handle it pretty nice. Like any couple would, right? I have no, I have no qualms about it. I really don't. You know, it's, you know, it's like hearing another uh, family member arguing stuff about stuff in life. <laughs> so, there you go. Uh, so, not to be outdone, you know. What I always keep saying with these people on YouTube, on their own, old YouTube channels, and they don't outdo themselves. They try not to outdo themselves. And uh, it makes for an interesting video. I really mean that literally. It makes out for an interesting video. And uh, they go on, sometimes they go on adventure, video, filming, and yeah, vlog, video vlog. And uh, yeah, you learn a lot along the way. And you really do, you really do. A day in the life of the Dragon Hunter, essentially. And that's what he has on his YouTube channel. Um, and yeah, I just knew I just saw this guy for a while when he just start when he just started his cycle series. Is he created it? He created this so called cycle series, Brand Brandish. They called it the Brandish. Uh, he brandished it all right. He made it to a movie. Not only that, a movie. So yeah. and his whole family was in that. His whole entire family was in it. Folks, go see it. I'm not kidding. Uh, his whole entire family was in it. Even his girlfriends were in it, too. And, uh, go, go see it. Go see it. I, I highly recommend it if you want, if you're asking me. I highly recommend it if you want, at your leisure. Um, and yeah, you'll get to, you get to see what the, uh, uh, and I always tell people, is that what he looks like on, on camera? Yeah, he does. That's what he looks like on the camera. And whatever camera show, uh, whatever camera films, that's what he looks like. No way to be involved. That's what he looks like on, on camera. You know, it's like me, it's like going up to meet him and shake his hand kind of thing. That's what he looks like. So, there, there you go, folks. You can't, uh, I can't say any plainer than that. Uh, so, but in this day and age with the pandemic, you can't really do that, so it's just spunk pit kind of thing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, uh, all, as they would say, all things considered, I think he did a good, uh, you know, he's 28 years old, I would assume. Um, really young, I'm not that age, I used to be at that age, but I'm a lot older now. Uh, but. Yeah, so he was, he was never going to shut down the operations of Storyfire. I was sad for him. I was, really was. Yeah, I was really was for him. But uh, it was a good glimmer of hope, as they would say. Glimmer of hope. Uh, miracle did happen. And folks, yep, money came. Money came, as my friend once said. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, it's a miracle, if you could say it that up there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, there you go, folks. <laughs> so, yes, a year into the story fire. Yep, he's a, he was excited, folks. I kid you not. He was very excited on the video. You can tell. <laughs> yeah. So, he was very excited. You know, he was rushed to do this video. And he was very excited. He didn't want to let, you know, let go of the story fire. He was too much into it, kind of thing. 
and uh, yeah. So it was like he was going to shut down the operations for good. I mean, literally, for good. And it's like saying goodbye to a uh, best friend he already knew. <laughs> it was sort of like that in a way. It's like in business world. You know. you, it's like a, it's like you want to cry about it. You know. You know, you know, it's a bittersweet for a lot of people, you know? But anyway, there you go, folks. There you go. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. I hope you appreciate what I've said. Uh, I didn't want to ramble on and on about this today. I really didn't want to. Um, there's other things I could have said today, but this is, I just came to me, and I just want to say on our previous uh, videos recently. Um, now, if you told me what, the, what you've done recently, I, I couldn't tell you. Um, you guys would have to go to his YouTube channel and check out his recent videos. Um, but yeah, he was very thankful to all his YouTubers, all subscriber base, and he appreciated what's really good, really good. He appreciated all his subscriber base. Uh, and good, and good sound, and how do you say it? good sound and taste to it. Um, him and Brian came through with it, and, uh, they created this so-called story fire website and uh, it's a business venture remember it's a business venture yeah and they treat as such so I, i'm gonna tell you that folks out there yeah yeah, yeah so they, he promoted it heavily he promoted it very heavily so there, if you want to let let me know that uh yeah he promoted it heavily and um yeah, he, 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 he kind of beat, he wanted to beat out other social media sites that are out there already. Um, he made top of his uh, social media platforms. Uh, so, and people will take notice of it kind of thing. And, uh, yep, so there you go. So, you know, it's just trials and errors, trials and errors with uh, Jesse. And I appreciate that from him. You know, it's... Entrepreneur, he's like an entrepreneur in anybody's eyes. <laughs> he's learned the ropes, you know? It's always trials and tribulations. Sometimes you gotta keep trying your hardest to get this going. It's like a, it's like a brand new friend you knew. I want to keep this relationship keep going. It's sort of like that on a website. You know? So it's a bittersweet, yep, it's a bittersweet. But things not always come to an end sometimes, folks. Uh, especially in social media. Um, uh, everything comes, sometimes it comes in a miracle way, sometimes it comes to it not. And uh, you just have to hope for the best, you know? But yeah, he was lucky. Jesse was very lucky. I said that in previous videos. Very lucky. I mean, he came as close to a certain whole operation down. He didn't want to do it, right? It was his baby. It was his, you know, people would say, it was his baby. It was, it was growing his company kind of thing. You know, high and high water kind of thing. Yeah. He tried, yeah. The word I would use is try, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, he was trying his darndest. Uh, yeah, it's Oxford at age 28. I have to tell you guys, a young entrepreneur, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a gamble. It's a gamble, folks. It's a gamble. It's a gamble in your life. But anyway, enough said for that. Um, so it's a business venture. It was like anything in the world. Any platform that you create out there, it's like any social media site you created, it's like a platform. It's like, you know, and the lighter stuff on the side of that, is when you create a website, you got to keep it going. You got to keep the website going. You can't just have it stop the operations and not use it anymore. You know, you, know, you got to keep it going. Unless, the, unless the, the, as they say, the, uh, the uh, partnership is no longer doing it. As long as the both parties know, you know, as long as the both parties know, as the two per people say, hey. This website we created, let's stop this, stop the operations for now, 
and regroup and uh, think what we need to do to this website. Yeah. As, as I like to say in basketball, you can always have a timeout regroup uh, so we can do better. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what they probably wanted to do. They want to stop the operations of the website and what can we do better? What can we overlook? Yeah, so there you go, folks. Uh, it's like I said in life, uh, people, uh, business ventures. It's all, you know, trials and tribulations. You try it out. You try Try it out and see how it goes. See how it goes for quite a while. And if the, both parties agree if they want to stop the operations, it'll be up. You know. Mm -hmm. yeah. As long as both parties agree on it, I think. So there you go, folks. You learn let, and let learn. <laughs> but uh, no fault at Jesse's uh, dispense. I think he did a good job. I really, he, he took this company like you would take a, any company out there. Uh, st start small, work your way up to the big boys, you know, kind of thing. Uh, and see how far you can take this kind of thing. He was going to have a um, an office place. Uh, he was not joking. He took it. And he would hire on uh, payroll, people payroll. And uh, yeah, like I say, he did hire on some people. So it was a big uh, business venture. He was really, he was not joking for himself. Yeah. So there you go, there you go. Uh, there's a, so I kind of looked at the, uh, if you were to ask me a viewer, for a viewer looking in, uh, how do you say looking out for looking in, type of thing. I would say the guy did well. I think the guy really did well along the, along the lines. He did, uh, I mean, those videos that he put out, they were amazing videos. It wasn't like, it wasn't like uh, funny, funny, you know, funny, funny, you know, kind of thing. It was really good. The production videos were good. His brother helped him out. I mean, <laughs> he had some rough, uh, rough patches along the, along the way. His dad gave him a uh, tough love, you know, tough love to you know, like any dad, you know. Uh, I, I, I don't wish that for any dad, but you got, you know, you know, it's like you toughen up your son a bit. Um, I don't wish that for any dad. I'm not, I'm not joking, folks. Uh, but yeah, you got to toughen up the son, or he's gonna fall, you know, back on his wayside. Uh, but uh, uh, so there you go, folks. Um, so, yeah, he was going to become an entrepreneur. I'm not joking, folks. Um, so he took this uh, full-time, as they say, hey, I'm in, kind of thing. As they would say, the words they would say, I'm in, kind of thing. I'm in full-time. Yeah. And they would say, I agree to this, kind of thing. So, yeah, there you go, folks. You learned the, you learned this true story there. You know, uh, as they say, do we need to sign a 
contracted about that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah. So he treated just like any entrepreneur out there. He treated like a big business. He worked from a small business to a big business and grew it. Yeah, and see how far they can take it, kind of thing. Yeah. And don't let it get to you. Don't let it get to you, as they say out there. So, yeah, he was, uh, he was trying to be that entrepreneur, young entrepreneur at 28 years old, folks. Anyway, what, what else can I say? I think the guy had it made. Uh, I think a lot of people who were his striver base, pretty sure what he was trying to do was be an entrepreneur. It was an entrepreneur that no other YouTuber could ever fathom that if they tried. I think they're going to learn the lesson of being an entrepreneur. You know, the ropes went outside of YouTube, outside of YouTube kind of thing. Uh, an entrepreneur, it's tough in the world of business these days. Yeah, he took it like a business thing. <laughs> so there you go, folks. And uh, yeah, he did pretty good. He hired on some people, which they're not uh, shabby, too, not too shabby, as I would say. Um, if they did took down a company uh, very further than they did before the pandemic, I'd say, yeah. If you were if you were saying like a year ago, sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And you can, uh, as I would say to people, it's, it's all thanks to Jesse and Brian uh, to create the uh, website for you guys out there. So, that was their thought going in. So, so there you go. Creator or co-creator, they were called creator or co-creator of their own websites, of their own uh, two websites that I've mentioned. Um, so yeah, so looking back on it, I think he did pretty good after all those years. I mean, it took him a long time, but uh, it, uh, you know, really, really geared him for uh, you know the business world, the business world. You know, see if he can hang them with big boys in the world. So there you go, folks. You learned the true story of what Story Fire meant for Jesse, the YouTuber out there. What it meant for him. And his girlfriend will be along for the ride. It will help him out along the way. Yeah, so there you go, folks. Um... I don't want to say any more than that, but uh, I give you uh, my side of how I looked at it. It's, it's called looking out, looking in type of thing. So it's looking out from the inside in of the YouTuber, uh, a YouTuber. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I congratulate him. I really did uh, make the leap of the business side of things, not just. YouTube being a YouTuber 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, that couldn't be done. You know, he, it was the second uh, thing that he had to do in the world was being an entrepreneur. That's the, as people would say, the entrepreneur side of things. Yeah. So, yeah. So, there you go, folks. Uh, you learn a you learn a valuable lesson of uh, a YouTuber uh, for entrepreneur, being an entrepreneur for the first time. And maybe he'll explain with his own words. But like I said, I, I was a pretend person, I was a viewer. This is, my, this is my stance on it. I was a viewer looking out, looking in, if you know what I mean. So I was trying to be like him, trying to uh, gain, well, not really gain the system, if you were to uh, uh, say that. He wasn't gain the system, he was going the right channels, they say, the right channels to gain this popularity and um, the company and stuff like that. Just all in the entrepreneur way. Make a name for himself in the business world. And this was his own dupe. Remember that. He was his own dupe. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I applaud him that. I really do. Um... It's a business venture, and uh, he'll do well, he'll do well, I promise you. Uh, every time I watch his videos, it's just it's just so heartening to me. It's uh, It feels it fills up my heart, knowing that uh, 
your shoes are good hats. You know, all kind of thing. You know, he just sometimes he strays away what he does, but nonetheless, he does good in the world. Uh, he's kind of sort of like me. He's sort of like me in a way, which I try to accomplish my own world. Um, but yeah. Um, so anyway, there you go. A true story from me as a YouTuber looking out from looking in on a YouTuber. If you know what I mean, through the eyes of a YouTuber. Another YouTuber. And, uh, yeah. I think his videos are great. Great. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of tough goes at it. You know? A lot of tough goes at it. And, uh, yeah. So, I guess he could say it best for you. Know, what you guys can hear. What, just go listen to his videos. Go listen to his videos out there. He was nearly going to close, shut down his operations on Story for I kid you not, folks. Very close. This close to shutting it down. His operations for good. I mean, for good. You can ask him that. <laughs> but yeah, you know, more, as they say, the moral of the story you can ask him kind of thing. <laughs> but he's always, he's, he's, he's a fun-loving guy, uh, the YouTuber I mentioned. But yeah, yeah, yeah. him and uh, that Nick guy with the camera guy, it's always mentioning. Uh, yeah, he's pretty good cameraman. I gotta admit, he's a pretty good cameraman. Yeah, he gets, uh, he gets some credit over the whole thing. <sighs> so there you go, folks. Anyway, you learned from, you learned something from me. If you learn anything from my videos, appreciate it. Hit that like button, as they would say. Subscribe to my ch uh, YouTube channel. That's right. I'm not joking. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you can. If you can. If you can. Don't worry, I'll put out videos if I can. And, uh, uh, word to the wise. Keep your videos out there, guys. Keep doing what you're doing on your videos. I come to appreciate them a lot. And uh, you don't hear from, uh, I'm not saying this to my own videos. I'm saying, I'm saying it to other people's YouTube channels that they're doing out there. Great YouTubers out there. Really great YouTubers. The content is really good. Um, uh, go check out, uh, uh, Jesse Witchway. I think that's what his name was. Anyway. He's a pretty good guy. He's a pretty good guy. He, uh, he, does, he keeps videos fresh. Doesn't keep them stale. Keeps them fresh. Each time. It makes them, uh, I call them epic -y. If you, uh, that, That's the word I would use. Uh, epic -y. So he's in the moment. He's epic -y. He <laughs> He's all in that moment. Uh, he's, type of that, he's the type of that person. He keeps it really fresh. Yeah, he's always in the moment in videos. Yeah. He makes it makes it exciting videos in a way. Yeah. So there you go, folks. You learn something from me. Maybe you guys will learn something from yourself. Uh, go try. Go see his videos. His, uh, his YouTube channel. I would. Uh, that's highly recommended, folks. And um, <laughs> if you ask me, um, yeah, he was an entrepreneur. He was a young entrepreneur. He's trying out. He's 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 going out there with the big boys. The you know the social media sites out there. Uh, he's hanging out with the big boys, and uh, he's created a big monster, let's put it that way. Uh, and uh, I applaud him, I really do, this is something outside of his YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, an entrepreneur, I call these people entrepreneurs. They're out there, you know, uh, being entrepreneurs, business side of things. So... So there you go, folks. You learned something from me. So go out there. Always, in my, me and my friend once said a long time ago, this long time, and this is a true story of this. Just dream the ultimate dream. Keep dreaming. That dream will come true. Say, hey, I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to build my business up to where I need to be and get where I need to be. Just dream the ultimate dream, as my friend said. <laughs> I hang her on this stuff. Um... You can dream, big, You can do it. You can do it. You just need motivation. I call it, my word would always be motivation. You got motivation in yourself. The key in the world is motivation. You know, motivation to anything in life. You got to be out there, motivate yourself to do this, and say to yourself, "Hey, I'm all in. I'm all in this thing. I'm not half half glass full. Half glass full. I'm all in. I got to do this. I got to do this. I'm in. I'm all in." You know, if it's not for you, I'll do it for myself, kind of thing. 
I'm saying for the good. I'm saying for the good out there. So, <laughs> I do this for myself. So there you go, folks.